Hi, I'm Tim Vendiger from Master Vintner. You may be used to seeing me drink wine, talk about wine, make wine, present wine, and generally soak my life in wine. But as surprising as it may seem, I don't drink wine 24 hours a day. When I get up in the morning, I need my coffee. Well, I don't need it as much as I'm physically habituated to it because it's delicious brain juice that allows me to function in society. With that in mind, I actually drink a lot more coffee than I do wine or any other beverage, except water. Uh, and lately, I have been making my own coffee. That is to say, I've been roasting my own beans, grinding them fresh, and dispensing them in rare and unusual ways. And I wanted to share that with you. Uh, what I've been doing lately is roasting coffee with my uh, Be More Roaster machine. Uh, it's fantastic. I'm going to do a little presentation on that. Uh, I've also been using my Cannonball kegging system to make cold pressed coffee, which is what I want to show you today. Yesterday, I ground up some coffee, put it into this delightful container here, and let it sit with cold water overnight. It's been about 24 hours, and I'm ready to filter it into my Cannonball keg so that I can dispense it and serve it cold from the fridge for homemade iced coffee. It's it's really one of my favorite things to do. Let me show you how that's going to work. First off, the keg has been cleaned and sanitized. It's not really necessary to sanitize things for coffee making like you would for beer making or wine making, but it never hurts. Nobody ever spoiled anything by being too sanitary. Get your clean sanitized keg, open it up. The seals are very tight, which is a good thing because no pressure escapes. The Cannonball keg uh, holds about a gallon and a half of volume which is just about right for around a week of iced coffees for me in my house because uh, I drink a lot of coffee. Now, this has been sitting full of medium grind coffee and water overnight. That means there's a lot of suspended dregs in here. I'd rather they didn't get up in the mechanisms inside the keg. There's a, a dip tube that brings up the liquid and there's a tap that it goes through. And I don't want to carry all those grounds over. So what I'm going to do is take my Melita drip cone filter, uh, very common, very easy to find, and I'm going to not need the pot today. Instead, I'm going to set that right down over top of my cannonball keg, and that's going to catch all my grounds. Let's open this up. Oh man, that smells great. And we're just going to pour this through as carefully as we can, which is to say, not carefully at all. We're going to let that drain, mop up all the excess, and in a few minutes we'll pour some more in. If the coffee filter paper gets clogged, uh, we can swap it out and get another one in there. It'll just take a few minutes. Alright, that took about five minutes and two coffee filters, but we got through the entire container of cold brewed coffee. And you can see, eh, we left a lot of gunk behind. That's good. We don't want that clogging things up and coming through. Don't throw this away. If you've got a garden, or if you compost, or if your local municipal authority collects things for composting outside of the waste stream, this is brilliant. It's great for gardens. Worms love it. It promotes soil health. It's cool. Composting's neat. All right, here we are. We've got our coffee in here. Time to clamp the lid on. Time to charge it up with some gas. Now this is a portable nitrogen regulator. Um, you get these uh, through Northern Brewer and they are fantastic. Uh, comes with a little nitrogen cylinder that screws in the bottom, goes to a gas inlet port, clamps down, variable pressure regulator. It's totally cool. First thing I want to do is connect it to my inside, which is over here. And we'll put that on. We're going to turn it up to deliver a charge of gas in. Make sure you put that down. Yep. And we're going to let the gas flow in. And as it does, you can see the regulator's ticking along there. We are going to let the gas accumulate. Now this is nitrogen. Nitrogen's inert, so it's going to purge the oxygen out of there. How, you ask? Well, we're going to let it fill up and then blow off. We don't want any oxygen there. Oxygen's the enemy of storing things over a long period. It'll go through enzymatic browning. It'll go through non-enzymatic browning. It'll begin to stale, get off flavors, ick, ick, not good. So we're going to purge this a little bit, drive off most of the oxygen. And after that, 
we're ready to go and get ourselves a cup of coffee. This, now this is an unusual item. This is a nitrogen cap. You may have seen these in bars that sell uh, stout on nitro. And what it is, it's a regular dispensing tap that has a unique spout on the end of the faucet. A little difficult to see, but there's a little plate in here that's got a series of holes, five of them, which are very teeny tiny, forcing the beverage through uh, that restrictor plate causes any nitrogen gas to come out of suspension. Uh, if there's any compressed CO2 in there, it'll come out too, and it delivers a fine, foamy, creamy head. That's not quite what I'm after this day, but I like this tap because um, it seems to deliver a richer, better mouthfeel, in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, it's clean, sanitized, ready to hook up. Goes right on the keg. And now, it's time for some coffee. Now you could dispense this coffee into a mug and put it in the microwave and heat it up and have yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. But hot coffee isn't always appropriate. In fact, it's midsummer where I am and it's pretty warm, especially that I've got all the doors and windows closed because there's too much traffic noise to shoot video otherwise. So what I need is a nice iced coffee. So got our glass, fill it up, on with the nitrogen. Now, in a couple of days under nitrogen pressure, we're going to get that creamy, foamy head, but I really can't wait a couple of days. I want a cup of coffee. And that's how you put coffee in a cannonball keg so you can make your own iced coffee on nitro. Cheers, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned, because I'm always doing something slightly strange with my time. In case you were wondering what that big jug of green stuff is, that's a beer made out of pea pods. N no, really. It's... Legit, they used to do that in America, in the colonial peapods. Okay, thanks. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Mm.